so this video, you guys want to see a little comparison between a bone stock rammer and a rammer that's got a lift on it. Now, some of you guys have told me, is it really that much of a difference, Eddie, you know, compared to the stock? I don't know. So I'm going to put them side by side. We pulled my rammer out and we're going to pull the other 19 rammer. We're going to put it side by side and we're going to compare, you know, the height of uh, the rear, front, the mirrors, stuff like that. If you know, there is a huge difference in this kit. All right, give you guys a little cold start, even though it's, I, you know, 70 degrees outside. <laughs> uh, gotta say, man, that new car smell smells very great. And also, uh, oh, preheat. You know, I wonder, guys, I got a question for you guys out there that actually, um, you know, live in the cold. I hear you can get rid of that and do like a grid heater delete. I was thinking about doing that on my truck, but I don't know. I'm, I'm worried. Will the truck still start like, so sometimes I go to Big Bear, you know, I think the coldest I've ever been there, it was like 15 degrees. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it'll start. I don't ever go to like Canada or Alaska where it's like, you know, negative degrees. So um, I've never really lived in the cold. So I, I don't know. You know, I've never had a real cold start on um, any of my diesels. So let me know if I take the grid heater out, you guys think uh, this thing will still start? Cause I always get this, you know, wait to start thing also. And then I heard you can bypass it by just pushing it again. But I don't know if that's good for the truck. You know, like I said, for these, these heater, the heater aspect of this thing or of these diesels, I, I don't know too much of it cause I've never, uh, you know, we don't have no cold climate and my truck always sits in the garage with the heater on. You know so it never gets cold i mean in this thing it was 57 degrees which you know i mean that's not cold it's not really cold so i don't know but we'll let it warm up real quick before i uh back her up and do a uh, comparison i don't like to uh i don't like to drive these things uh when they're cold like this i'm sure some of you guys are gonna say yeah it don't matter but my rule of thumb before i uh move my truck i like to see these the oil temp or cooling temp i like to see them close to 100 i mean i know i'm only going back you know 10 feet 20 feet uh it just i don't know i mean you know like that i guess you can call it i just want to see these temperatures go up uh before i do that also guys i don't know if i mentioned but this truck is sold and uh gone already so uh for you guys to keep dming me uh my apologies truck is already gone and and sold well actually I take it back we got a deposit. Uh, he's coming next week to pay, pick it up. Uh, but in a week, things could change. So I should say sale is pending right now. I won't say it's sold. Um, so DM me next week and I will let you guys know if it's actually sold. But the guy's pretty serious. So I think it's already gone. But like I said, sale is pending. Well, here it is, guys. Lifted versus not lifted. Now, before we talk about this, I'm gonna like let you know, you know the differences. Obviously, bone stock. This is a three and a quarter uh, Carly lift kit. It is on 37, 13, 50, 20s, 20 by nine with a plus 18 offset for the rear. And you can see, look at the mirrors. So not not too much of a of a difference here. You know what? I'm gonna go get my handy dandy tape measure out. And then here's a little booty shot for you guys, so you can see the uh, height difference there also this one has the uh, factory airbags on it and if you notice here so check the leaf springs out and this is i did from carly so this this is it you know bone stock see these leaf springs that's the front let me show you the rear that's the rear okay on mine look at the front we got there you go right there and here is the back if you're wondering where the other ones are well i took them out let me get a better angle for you and they do the uh the add a add a pack or, or add leaf whatever it's called you see all that so that's why mine look different than you know if you got a uh, regular 3500 here so now we got our handy dandy tape measure out here and let's uh let's see how high my mirror is compared to this mirror so we got here, so, oh, 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 where am I going with this camera over here? Okay, so we got here, I'm holding my foot on there. Top of it, we're at 72, call it 72 and a, 
and a little more, a little chingus on there. 72 and a, and a quarter, you can call it. And then here, we're gonna call it, a foot there, we're gonna call it, can't you see, 60, call it 67 in a, in a little bit, uh, 67 and a half, we'll call it there. So we got about a uh, five, what did I say, 72, I think? Get a little like five, five and a chingus, a little more difference uh, between there. Now let's check the uh, the rear. Okay, so we're gonna go right here. So I'd say we're, uh, hold it flat to the ground. 50, I uh, call it 57 and three quarters. Yeah, a little bit, 57. We'll call it 57 and three quarters. And we'll call this backside and put it in the same spot right there. So we gotta go up a little bit. I'm gonna call it uh call it 60. Yeah, I'll call it right about 60. 59 and three quarters. So not too uh not too much of a difference in the back and the booty portion of it. Now, uh some of you guys want to know tire. Uh, I've told you and you guys mentioned in my or some of you guys said what do you mean Eddie? They're not a true 37 inch tire. It's not so and how I know for sure is when I had to uh, Use the programmer to recalibrate it to match. I, I had to set it to like 36 and something 36 and some change on there But I mean look at this guys. So let me Get this thing straight for you here. So that would be 37 it's not it's about 36 and a little bit so it's not really a 37 inch this is considered if you go online a 285 60 20 this is considered a 33 inch tire so let's bust this out and go from here and we got here we got 32 and a little bit so probably 32 and three quarters on this tire right here so they're not again guys they're not true you know 37 and 33s okay so now we'll do steps so I'll crack that here crack that there and we'll see how high my step is so call that the middle of the step call it 17 if you want to go to the top 17 and a little bit you know i don't know 17 and a quarter and then here we're at 13 on the top now that's a four inch uh, come up right there it's pretty good so here's another just shot for you guys if you're wondering you know i know and, and the reason why i'm doing this guys is because a lot of you ask me eddie is there a huge difference some of you say oh i take my grandma or grandpa you know what's the difference um you know and that's for you guys to do that that's good and here's why I'm doing the video for you guys is so you can see the main differences between, you know, three and a quarter. And you don't even have to go three and a quarter. You can do the pin top kit. I think it's two and a half or two and a quarter. And it'll e even be a little uh, lower than this. It won't be as high if this is too high for you. And for you guys asking me, Eddie, how did you do your uh, bumpers? Because when you took the front plate off, you have the holes. How did you get yours white? So believe it or not, guys, all I did is back here is uh if i can stick my hand i can i can poke it see see this i don't know if you guys see that that's just, it's just white tape i put back there and then i took touch-up paint I took the vin number down took touch-up paint and i uh colored it in so from far away looks like it matches perfect which with the touch-up paint it does it's the exact color um why this doesn't get destroyed well it's this whole thing is clear broad you can see the line right here where it meets if you did this and you had no clear brawl, this would probably last you less than a day and get destroyed. Also, you guys were telling me you wanted a one year review. How's this thing been treating you? What problems have you had with the attitude? Well, that's actually a very good question, guys. So stay tuned for the next upload. I'm gonna do a one year review, tell you what I've done, what I've added, the problems that I've had, how big of the problem you know it was, and what I mainly use this thing for, if you guys are a long time subscriber, you know what I mainly use this thing for, but what I mainly use this trailer for. And yes, forklift is working awesome. Move the trailer, put it in here, last trip. Uh, this thing is 
the bomb right here this setup is just amazing also if any of my subscribers out there know companies that do doors for this thing i need a door for this mamba jamma right here um i would like to if i can do like maybe a door that i don't know connects and in the middle it swings out but if i can have a door i would like it you know on the this whole pretty much all the way to the end not bring it in because i don't want to lose any width and uh, i've seen some but i'm having a hard time finding them so if you guys do know a company uh let me know dm me on my instagram at eddie's life or uh just comment down below check this out guys what does this tell you can you figure it out oh yeah you know what time it is and if you don't know what time it is well you gonna see pretty soon so i got a little cold um so um that's pretty much the main difference guys if you want to know some of you guys asked me but there you go so now we got to get ready for the desert we are getting ready to head out presents weekend i'm sure it's probably going to be pretty damn busy out there um i think this is considered like the last big trip of the season but we still get a couple more in uh, just because the weather's still good but it starts getting into like the 78 80 degrees out there starts warming up so we probably only got maybe six trips left we'll see then the season you know is over and then we gotta wait till october again but that's all i got for you guys so if you guys like this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button don't click subscribe peace yeah